When you hear the word Jannah, what do you think of? I think of massive mountaintops, extremely tall trees, rivers that flow everywhere. Uh, as you're stepping, it's, it feels as if like more and more vegetation fruits forward, fruits that better than you could ever taste and imagine. Just the feeling of calmness and peace and tranquility. Shalom, you think about Jannah a lot. I do. And how often do you think about Jannah on a daily basis? Probably, probably after every salah. After every salah? After every salah. Can you describe that to me? What I try to do is I try to do some zikr and I try to think to myself like the zikr that I do may be raising my ranks in Jannah if Allah accepts. So I think to myself like if I am more remembrance of Allah, the higher ranks I get. So I try to think to myself like the, the benefit that'll come from it. Has the thought of Jannah ever gotten you through like a really hard time in life? Um, yeah, a lot. Do you mind describing one of those moments? Maybe? Yeah, most definitely. Um, the thought of Jannah and being with Rasulullah and his companionship is something I like really, really want. You know, it's something that I really, really want to aspire to, to, to have in Jannah is, is his companionship. And the idea that like all the trials and all the tribulations that I've gone through in this world will be so like minimal when, if Allah wills, I get to Jannah. And so, for example, an example of that would be uh, becoming Muslim. I took my Shahada about two years ago and the idea of just getting to Jannah and, and becoming Muslim was something that was, Alhamdulillah, something that keeps me keeps me going in Islam. And, and when's the first time you like grasped Jannah as a Muslim? Like, wow, this is amazing. The thought when of Jannah. When I went to Mecca, uh, I was able to do Umrah and being at the Kaaba and just being in total submission with thousands of other Muslims made me realize that like, this is real. It's very much real. And Alhamdulillah. <laughs> so what's the best part of Jannah to you? The best part of Jannah to me would be spending it with all of my friends that I've gathered here and all of the teachers that I have and just being in their company, in their presence. I can't think of a particular place. Maybe it'll be my house or maybe it'll be their house or maybe it'll be, you know, someone else's house. But to me, as long as I'm in their company, I'll be happy. So if you're thinking about the people you're meeting in Jannah, right? You get to the gathering, the Friday gathering in Jannah. You see the prophets are there, the companions, all these historical figures. Other than the Prophet Islam, is there one person like you? Like, I want to go meet that person and talk to him for a day. Musa. Musa, salatu salam. Most definitely. I feel his journey, his legacy, everything about him is has something that I very much think about often. Um, the fact that, you know, he overcame so much obstacles and it's something I think about a lot and most definitely would be him. Musa. And you changed your name to Musa when you became Muslim? No, I was, uh, it was already Muslim. You were already Moses? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you were Moses, you became Musa? Yeah. And now you're meeting Musa? Inshallah. And he's the most, the person that you long to meet most after the Prophet Amazing. Tell me what's the first thing you're gonna to say to him, just speaking to directly. Salam alaikum Musa, what are you gonna to say to him? I, I don't think I would be able to come up with any words. I'll probably just hug him and be in his presence. And then if I could muster up uh, the words, I would just thank him. Thank him for, for, you know, all that he did and all of the trials on earth that he went through because it, it has gotten me and, you know, his leadership ability, his relationship with, with uh, Harun and everything of the sort has gotten me through so many trials and experiences and everything of that sort. So I would just thank him first. So I'll give you another scene. Okay. Your living room. Okay. Muhammad and Musa Islam sitting with you. And they ask you to introduce, what did you do to get here? What do you think you did to get here? Oh man, I would like to think it would be the dhikr, the, the dhikr I do, the, the remembrance of Allah, uh, especially after salah. I think, I think if Allah wills, that would be my, my entrance to Jannah. Inshallah, inshallah. So now you get called by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah wants to meet you alone. 
welcome you to Jannah. There's no questioning anymore. It's just Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants you to come meet him individually in Jannah. What are your first words to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Jannah? Oh man. Um, I, I don't know if I would have words. I feel like I would just be in awe and and in total just like respect and fear. I don't know if I could come up with any particular words, but if I could come up with any words, it would just thank you for making me Muslim.